my name is Shannon. I've been incarcerated um, 10 years and we learn a lot. I mean, there, I grew up around horses all my life. Like I said, and there's still things that I learn. And I'm learning things the proper way. I mean, it, it's just, it's with the girls working and helping each other and it's just a nice change to be able to work and with the horses and we really show these horses so much love and give them so much more attention than a lot of farms would, you know, because usually it's just a job and it's something that they, they do. And it's a job for us, don't get me wrong. It's enjoyable work because we love the animals so much, but it is hard work. I was an accountant for um, 25 years. And so you were sentenced for embezzlement? Yes, sir. And how long of a sentence did you receive? Seven years. It destroyed everything that my husband and I ever worked for. I've learned um, that we're here for healing not only of the horses, but for ourselves. Uh, behavior modification for them, for myself, for others around me. A lot that I can put to use when I leave here, even if it's not dealing with horses. Who does this program help more? You or the, your horse? Well, the horses probably think it's them, but I think it's us. Most of them, when they leave here, they could be a vet tech for an equine practitioner. They could run a small farm. They'll fit in at any, you know, the ones that have great work ethics, they can work anywhere they want to work in the horse industry because they've learned enough here in this concentrated time that they can do anything. And people that hire them discover that. That makes you feel good. They have a, they end up getting a certain amount of self-esteem back self-respect back. So there's a lot of life skills that they learn here that isn't just taking care of horses. Just to see these women change and think that I might could have made a difference of them leaving prison and staying away was more important than getting back in the pressure cooker and making a lot of money. That's the fulfilling part. I mean, you know that the horses are getting the best of care, but if every year, if two students don't come back to prison because of being in this program and live up to the potential they had to start with, I mean, how valuable is this program to society, to them, their families? I mean, it just goes on and on and on.